and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to use grids as a shape builder tool. So there was a little bit of confusion with the last video that I made so I'm going to show you this step a little bit more in depth. Let us first create a grid on extensions render grids. We could find a couple. Let's just use a Cartesian and we don't go over this menu. We'll just need one as an example. I'll apply it and now I close this window, select the grid and then watch for the bottom line right here. It's a group, so we'll press shift Control g And all that we need is a path and no groups anymore. So shift Control g until we've reached that point. In this case we have a stroke, so go to path and stroke. And once you've reached the point where it says in the bottom line that you only have these paths, make sure they're all selected, go to path and combine. And this is basically what you always need when you want to use grids as shape builder tools. You need to have these different path elements and then combine them to one element. Then create, for example, a rectangle, make it bigger than your grid, put it to the background. So we've got these two elements, the combined paths and the rectangle. Press Ctrl A to select it all, then path and division. And now all of these cells of the grid are turned into single elements and you can delete them. But let me give that a different color so that you can see the separation that the grid has created a little bit more clearly. And now you can select these single cells and delete them one by one. And that method works with the polar grid tool as well. So let us go over that once more. Extensions, Render, Grids, and we'll use the Polar Grid tool. As I've said, the menu doesn't really matter now. We'll just need an example, so I'll apply it. This is our grid. And currently, you can see down here, it's a group. So we'll press Shift, Ctrl, G. When you try to ungroup it now, it says there are no groups, so nothing is going to happen. Instead, we'll go to path, stroke to path. And now the bottom line says this. So we've got a path, but there's still a group inside. So shift Control g once again. And now we have our paths. But to be sure that they're all paths, go to path, stroke to path, and object to path. And you're definitely on the safe side. So everything in here now is a path, it's all selected, and we can go to path and combine it. And this is what you need to have in the bottom line. It's all paths once again. And we can now create, for example, a rectangle that's bigger than the grid, put it to the bottom. Select the grid and the rectangle, go to path and division. And we can delete these single cells once again, just like this. So in my last video, I've used this method to create a phone icon. Let us just create a phone here once more. Once you've got your shape, you can see there are still these white dividers from the grid. Just go to path and union it. And they'll be gone. Same goes for this one. So the Cartesian grid that we've used. Change the fill, maybe to black. Select it all, path and union. And all of these white dividers are now gone. Oh, you can see here I've missed a small element. If that happens, just press Ctrl Z until you've reached a point where there are single elements. Delete it, select it again, path and union. And this is how you can use grids in Inkscape as a shape builder tool. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.